Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside Kenny Chesney's recently listed Franklin, Tennessee home. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love the curb appeal. Honestly, I have no idea what homes in Tennessee look like. And since we can't see any other homes in this picture, we'll say we like this one. As you'll see later, the inside matches it as well. We love this porte cochere. Garages belong on the side of the home and not in the front. Porte cochers usually lead to a garage area. We love the entry courtyard, especially the maximum chill vibes it gives at night. We love the entry great room you see when you walk in, especially the columns and the giant rugs. As a Persian, we require maximum columns. As a Persian, we also require maximum rugs. This room perfectly fulfills two of those needs at once. All it's missing is some gold and I'd be in heaven. We love this galley hallway. We love the stairs, especially the balusters, the tiles. And I know it's hard to see, but this area of the stairs usually sticks out, but here it doesn't and we like that. In the kitchen, we love that it's a solid 3 BMS. We love this pot filler. We love that the chandeliers aren't coming out of the beams. We love the wolf range and the red knobs. I even have my own red knob for good luck. And we love this desk area. The real ones know this is where you get most of your actual work done in a home, not in the office. We love the size of the main bedroom, including the vaulted ceiling. We love the theater, and we love the lookout tower. There's no bigger power move than bringing your guests up here. You might as well call yourself Google Earth. Let's take a moment to appreciate the beautiful views of Franklin, Tennessee. Let's proceed. Outside, we love the barbecue. We love the land, especially this open field. And finally, we love that the lake is the shape of a heart. My heart is full just looking at this. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate how silly this gate is. You could literally just drive right around it. This is good for the zombie test and good for criminals. We hate fountains in the middle of a circle drive. These look nice, but ideally you don't have anything here and in your head you pretend there's a circle drive, but you could go straight through it if you need to. 99% of the time it's going to be an unnecessary obstacle and who needs more unnecessary obstacles in their life? Not me. We hate this poor excuse for a tree-lined driveway. Inside we hate that the outlets are in the baseboard like here and here. There's only one thing that should get plugged while you're bent over and it's not an outlet. Even though we love the columns, we hate that this little lip that sticks out will be Dustville, USA. We hate the beams in the kitchen area. Too beamy. These are all different sizes and going in every direction. Just because you can beam, it doesn't mean you should beam. We hate these outlets in the backsplash. We hate that this is a French top. And we hate this screen. We hate these cabinets. They look like what happens when someone photoshops their butt and the background is all wiggly. We hate that there's no head at this dining table. What is this meal socialism? We need a leader when we eat. We hate the TV over here. Here it is from another angle. Normally we hate when TVs are above the fireplace because that angle hurts your neck, but you're better off with a broken neck than inviting your guests over and having the TV like this. In the billiards room, we hate that this shelf is so high. Short kings need not apply. In the gym, we hate the drop ceiling. It's like my great grandpa used to say, any home above $2 million should be drop ceiling free. This is honestly a little bit embarrassing. In the backyard, we hate this rock area. This is not very no shoes friendly. We pretty much hate the entire pool and entertaining area. This is a TSJ, a total stuff job. This property is 56 acres. They could have given us way more entertaining space in the back than this. This home ranked three and a half out of five on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the Stats After Show, where we take a deeper dive into the stats. Thank you to homie Kinsey Beavers who sent this one in. I love when we can get out of California and review a home somewhere else. And I think this is the first time we've ever been to Tennessee. So hello, Tennessee. This home is called Bella Luce, which if a home has a name, you know it's going to be expensive. The price per square foot seems high, but you're getting 56 acres with this. So that probably marks up the price a bit. Also, a quick way to make someone named Mike upset is to call him Mark. As you can see the details, a lot of this home was custom made, Venetian plaster walls, special beams, reclaimed walnut floors. I'm not sure what Kenny's next move is, if he's staying in Tennessee or moving to somewhere else. If anyone knows, please let me know. See you all next episode. 
A special thank you to our Patreon producer supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir. With your support, it helps make celebrity home shopping possible. So thank you. And an extra special thank you to our Patreon Plus supporters. That's Spencer, Zachary, Melissa, CJ, Dan, Teddy, Megan, Lauren, and Emmy. Thank you so much. Also, Homies merch is now available in the merch store. That's MaximumChill.co or hit the shop up in my profile. I'll try to add new cool stuff as often as possible. So be sure to check out the store and thank you so much once again for your support.